As a kid, I used to watch it, uh, watch it all the time. All my friends did as well. It was a hugely popular cartoon, not just here in America, but pretty much all over the world. Um, especially every morning and every afternoon it was on. So I was a huge fan of that, a huge fan of the, uh, more of the villains as such, like Rocksteady, Bebop, yeah, Shredder, obviously, and Krang, um, and even Baxter. So I, uh, yeah, it's just so funny, you know, being, being involved in the project after watching something, um, watching the show as a kid. When I heard that there was an opportunity to do rock study, it was, it was great. I, uh, I was off with an injury at the time. I jumped in a car, drove from Tampa to Orlando. I literally have, have a mohawk, so I spiked it up like a horn, threw on all the gear, the combats and everything, to reminisce the, the cartoon character for what I remembered. And um, I, re I went through the, 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 the script and dialogue that was given and tried to make it as, as much close to the character as uh, I believed it and as, uh, what was wanted of it. So it was like, I mean, to me, uh, someone asked me, Do you want, would you like to be rock steady in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2? I was like, of course, absolutely. To me, it was the, the dialogue itself. It was just the character. It was just kind of like, you know, was just, I wouldn't say simple, but just carefree, kind of like just big kids. And I've been around them all the time. Before I came to WB, I used to work the door. And I worked with a lot of big, heavy, mus mus muscle-head guys who, you know, um, really talked a big game but really weren't. Uh, weren't able to back it up. I think that's the thing with Teenage uh, Rocksteady and Bebop. They they really feel that they want to be they want to be Shredder. They want to be that, that the main guy, but they really don't um, you know they don't know how to back it up or they're, they're not willing to take that next step. Steve Amell is awesome. Obviously, from uh, the stuff he's done in Arrow, which I've known him for. Um, he's he's great. He's a huge wrestling fan as well. Uh, which was easy for me right away from day one. We started literally talking about, you know, about wrestling was on the agenda from, from the beginning. We hit it off right away, and it's very hard not to hit it off with Gary. Gary's, he's so funny. He's literally on the go all the time. There's nobody can keep up with him or catch up with him. It's, even when the cameras aren't rolling, the guy is on. He just, he's incredibly funny, incredibly witty, and uh, to me, it's, it's, been, it's been great work with him. It's great to join the franchise. As I said, it's amazing. I saw the first movie because I wanted to go. Um, and when I heard about the opportunity for this, I jumped at it. Um, I only got to meet Leo and Donatello. I didn't get to see Rafi or Mike. Um, I met Megan Fox briefly the first day we were introduced to set, which seems, I don't even know anymore. It's so funny. At the time, just, just seems to fly by. When we first came to set, uh, Will Arnett and Megan Fox are really nice, again, lovely people. Um, and it's great to be able to be in a movie with those guys is, is awesome. Dave's great. Like, it's just, you know, for me and for everyone else, the, the direction is fantastic. Like, you know, whatever he sees, or if he sees something good, he let us know. We'll bounce, or I'll bounce ideas off. I'm like, how about this, how about that? And uh, he's, everyone's great, like ad lib and stuff, that some of the stuff that's come across from me and Bebop, like this come on the fly, it hasn't been on the script. And uh, they're very supportive of that. They're very much pushing for, let's see, what, let's see what we can generate away from the script. Let's see what we can do when everything's happening, like on the fly.